Alrighty then, we've dealt with the Thorian. I think it's now time for some more crew conversations. Yay! How oh, looking for am I for this? That's rude. What's on your mind, Lieutenant? Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is trading people to aliens for some kind of lost knowledge. But we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. Uh... We've got our orders. Belly aching won't change them. I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. It's funny, we finally get out here, and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. I'm sure your letters home are very poignant. Just keep this kind of sentimentality out of the CIC. Yes, ma'am. Sorry to have wasted your time. I'm right about the mission, though. I know it. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. One of my cousins has an agribusiness. I was thinking of calling him. Maybe he can get some shipments into Pharaohs. I mean, now that they're cut off from the company. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander. All right. <clears throat> Stop, Doctor. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Alliance medical personnel take courses in alien biology, just in case. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. That's insulting, bitch! No. Like I said, I want to get in her pants. We don't have the luxury of time. And Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. That's the side. <laughs> You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Oh. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what happened on Akuz. The fact that you survive shows a remarkable strength. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Unacceptable! <laughs> are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Delenko. You want a relationship with me? Even though we're both women? 
We Asari are monogendered, Commander. Male and female do not have any real meaning for us. We do, however, have maternal instincts. So perhaps we would fill what you consider a female role. I'm sorry if this is awkward for you, Shepard. I am only trying to be honest. I feel as if we share some type of connection. But none of this matters if you are already involved in a serious relationship with Lieutenant Elenko. The Lieutenant and I are just friends. Nothing more. My mistake, then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that, too? Hell yes! No, you were right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it, too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. These things never make sense. They just happen and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. What a horrible way to end that conversation. I should go. Again. Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm. That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. He's not impressed that you're going after Saren? My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. Not all Spectres are like Saren, you know. Of course not. But Saren's not gonna play by our rules, c sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. You're a quick learner, Garrus. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop someone like him. I'm right behind you, Commander. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. 
I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. So long, Rex. Shepard. I do like Rex's stories. Ashley, on the other hand, all she does is rant about her family. Commander? <clears throat> What's your opinion of the last mission? We lost a lot of the colonists. I don't see how we could have done more, but I still feel bad about it. I mean, we are out here to protect them. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time. Off the record. It's not normal for an enlisted to speak informally with the commander. I figured since the crew was so small, you might be more permissive. I mean, that helmsman of yours. Most places, he'd be at Captain's Mast every day. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm, I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? You should be more concerned about the fact that they're like 10 feet away from you. You don't trust their motives because they're not human. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. That's enough, Chief. You always second guess your superiors? Ma'am, no ma'am. I'm sorry, I was out of line. I'll get back to my duties, Commander. Racist. amazing and your crew's been really great to me especially your chief engineer but I just sort of feel out of place the Normandy runs so smooth it feels like we're not even moving and the engines are so quiet how do you sleep at night the silence wakes you up back on the flotilla the last thing you want to hear is silence it means an engines died or an air filter shut down I guess you don't have to worry about that here, but old habits die hard. But it's more than just the silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. I need my crew to be in top form. I can't have you daydreaming about going home. Don't worry, Shepard. I know what's at stake. If we don't stop Saren, I won't have a home to go back to. I'll be ready when you need me. I should go. See you later. I should go. Of course I should go. Yeah. It's like... It's like I'm their personal therapist. Uh... Yes, let's oh nice that's an upgrade
let's see, let's see. <clears throat> Looks nice. Uh, no Krogan armor, unfortunately. The helmets in this game are horrible. Alright, I think we're finally done. side missions and we're gonna do them all actually good timing commander we got a transmission coming in from the citadel top priority clearance I'll take it in the comm room this is interesting commander Shepard we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren what kind of information We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. I don't like being kept in the dark. We can't have you racing around the galaxy chasing false leads, Commander. We only contacted you because we feel this may be significant. Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. In other words, I'm here to do your fucking dirty work. Great. Anyway... Before I was so rudely interrupted, let's just check out this uh, this another solar system in the Atticum Beta. Since we're here, Hercules. Why not?
message coming in. Patching it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go groundside and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. Right. Give me a second to check out all the planets. Let's see. Um, why not? Great. Alien planets. Ah, uh, let's see what awaits us then. <laughs> 